we have winds coming again, but it's not uh, of the variety that we had last week where it was so scorching yeah, was hot. Crazy. And, of course, that uh, fire that popped up right at the absolute worst time and worst place because it was right where the winds were peaking. We do have winds that we're going to deal with, so and maybe even some blowing dust. So if you live up in the high desert, mm -hmm. I think that's where we may see some of the, the big issues for those of you that get irritated. Uh, just irritated in general. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about me, John? That's a whole other story. <laughs> Take a look at downtown L.A. We do have some clouds in the forecast. We are going to see some more clouds as we make our way through the next 24 hours as a front pushes through Southern California. So kind of hard to get in that Cinco de Mayo mood when it's a uh cool and breezy, cool by Southern California standards. Uh, here at the Broadcast Center, I've got 73 degrees. And again, as I said, we're going to clear things out by the end of the week and warm things up by next weekend. But we do have a bit of a change in our weather. Pinpoint forecast, we're looking at temperatures into the 70s to the 50s, back to the 70s again in the San Fernando Valley. Your weather headlines. So we've got unsettled weather here, mostly a dry frontal boundary moving through. So that means that the system is going to push through. Not going to see a whole lot other than some gusty winds. Maybe a couple of spots where we'll see some patchy drizzle. And then we're going to clear it up by Wednesday and then much more warming as we make our way into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. In fact, Saturday and Sunday looks like we could see an offshore flow again. More of those Santa Ana winds temperatures back into the 90s. 71 degrees for your daytime high. So for the past couple of days, we've been above average. Now we're starting to dip below average 74. That's where we should be for this time of year. Now we take a look right now and you can see the clouds that are streaming through the area. Again, it's that onshore flow. The winds coming from the water and moving into the land. And of course that changes everything up for us. It's the absolute opposite of what we had last week when we were looking at the dry conditions and the winds coming from the land to the sea. So we've turned all of that around. Across the desert floor, we are going to see gusty winds. So from the Antelope Valley all the way into Victorville and Apple Valley and Barstow, we are looking at very windy conditions, and that's going to peak basically from now through Wednesday morning and then should peter off a little bit after that. We'll see some high clouds in the forecast on Thursday. But this is the big picture. This is the area of low pressure and the cold front that's going to drop through. Not a whole lot of action here with this particular system, but it does give us a little variety. And then right behind it, you do see this ridge of high pressure. That's going to move in for the end of the week, and that's where our warmer weather will come from. So let's look at some numbers for tonight. We've got 54 degrees in Moreno Valley, 54 in San Bernardino, 47 up in the high desert. You've got overnight lows into the 50s, 56 in Anaheim, 56 in Irvine, and 54 for La Puente. Up to the north in Ventura County, it's the 40s, 48 in Thousand Oaks, 49 in Simi, 55 downtown. Daytime highs as we make our way into tomorrow, 60s and 70s, a noticeable cool down. In fact, uh, we lost about 8 or 9 degrees in our temperatures for our daytime highs today. We're going to do the same thing tomorrow. We're going to lose about 6 degrees again, so the cooling continues. 66 Santa Monica, 69 in Norwalk, 67 degrees for Alhambra, and we scoot down the coast here with temperatures in the 60s as well. We're quickly here the forecast. Uh, definitely cool weather to start off with, but things will We'll warm up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, we have a very low threshold for cold, so 67 is cold for us. <laughs>